I'm delighted to add my welcome tonight and to have this opportunity to celebrate the Club de Madrid's 10th anniversary. Why is Club de Madrid work so important to Telefonica? The answer is simple, and maybe part you have seen in that video. We're a global provider of information, communication, and technology, serving hundreds of millions of customers around the world. Frankly, our business can only succeed if that world is free, open, and connected. To my eyes, this is exactly the kind of world that the members of Club de Madrid are working for. A world in which all individuals are empowered and their rights are respected. A world in which every citizen has the opportunity to realize its full human potential. A world in which peoples connect across borders and boundaries to the mutual benefit. And a world in which each generation leaves the planet more sustainable than they found it. Of course, unfortunately, we are far from that point in our own countries and in the rest of the world. But I am confident that the members of this club can keep us moving toward that ambitious goal as they have done over the past 10 years. Finally, a personal note. There is much that I admire about Club de Madrid, many things. But high in my list is the habit of its leaders to remain deeply engaged in global affairs after they leave office. Tonight, we are honoring one of those leaders, a man who, if anything, might be having a bigger impact on more people now than when he served as his nation's 42nd president. I had the honor of meeting President Clinton in 2007 in one of the most beautiful cities on earth in Cartagena de Indias, while we were celebrating the 40th anniversary of the publication of 100 Years of Solitude. According to the prophecies, states that novel, the races condemned to 100 years of solitude did not have a second opportunity on Earth. There, I learned from President Clinton how that novel had a huge impact on him. And perhaps that is one of the reasons why he is now devoting all his energies to give a second opportunity now and forever, to all the races condemned to 100 years of solitude in all the Macondos across the world. It is a great honor for me personally, and also on behalf of almost 300,000 uh, Telefonica's colleagues, to thank President Clinton for his continuing service. Mr. President, you're making the world a better place. Thank you very much.